friends i am satendra and today i am going to solve this question this question is based on gauss hypergeometric function this question looks quite difficult but it is very easy to solve this question okay this question was asked in csir net june 2016 okay so let's read the question so <clears throat> the gauss hypergeometric function this is the function okay defined by the taylor series expansion around z equals to 0 is so <clears throat> don't worry too much this is the function it is given here okay okay and this uh, and they have asked you that th th that this function satisfies which of these equations okay so either this is correct or this is correct so if i am telling you the answer that this one is the correct and this is the wrong and it is very easy to find the objective that means that means it is very easy to find the correct answer okay so let's do that okay so the first thing is that okay either you can remember it that uh, hypergeometric function f is defined as okay either you can remember it or it is where or if you don't remember also then there won't be any problem because you can easily form this equation with the help of your uh, formula that they have already given you okay so that does not require you to remember it but if you know this uh, already then it will be better okay then no problem okay so this is the hypergeometric uh, function that is well known it has this formula okay it has this form okay okay so in this equation okay so in this function this is the sigma this is the summation from f equals to 0 to infinity and here you can see that there are other quantities like as bs cs okay so i will explain you what is this a subscript s and then then uh, that bs and cs are all are the similar terms okay okay so as is defined by this equation okay it goes from <clears throat> it goes up to s minus 1 okay so you can remember this how this as goes okay so the value of a0 is 1 the value of a1 is a the value of a2 is this much okay and this all comes from this okay so <clears throat> now so finally what i am going to do now is that just wait for a second now i am going to uh, expand this summation okay by putting f equals to 1 sorry f equals to 0 f equals to 1 f equals to 2 okay so that thing i have done actually here okay so i here i have expanded that function that the i have expanded expanded the right hand side of this of this equation okay so this function becomes like this okay now now i have substituted the value of a0 b0 c0 and that also that all are equals to 1 also we know that the value of zero factorial is also equals to 1 so the finally this uh, and also we know that uh, any variable raised to the power zero is also 1 so finally this has the value 1 okay which is written here and further <coughs> i solved it here and that becomes like here so while solving this part i have used uh, these relations okay okay so <clears throat> i have solved it i have further solved it here and i also solved this thing at this point okay so this is clear to you right okay okay now in this step okay let me clear this board okay so <clears throat> now now at this step i have differentiated this equation okay Uh, so <clears throat> i have differentiated both the sides so since this was constant it becomes zero here it was has only z so z differentiation of z with respect to z is one so i left with this further i differentiated so when i differentiated at this point this whole quantity works worked as a constant okay so this came out and we are only left with this much here okay and in the further further this will and this will will cancel out okay and further i differentiated at this point okay you can find it at here okay so <clears throat> so i differentiated it properly and i then at uh, this step i have taken out this thing common and i left with this much okay and now if you look at clearly at this point okay now if you clearly look sorry if, okay if you finally look at this point okay then you can find that this is all this will form the gauss hypergeometric function with the variable as plus a plus 1 b plus 1 
and c plus one as you can see that the series goes like that okay 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 so it is very easy for you to understand this thing so finally my answer is so finally this is my answer okay okay <clears throat> this is how the answer has came okay thanks for watching this video thank you very much